we're going to talk a little bit about Delco ESD distributors, the Delco Remy, GM company, EST, electronic spark timing, it's their type of distributor. Um, pretty straightforward, it takes the place of point. You have multiple pieces inside of the distributor, very common to see. I've taken the rotor off so we can see the parts a little bit better. Um, so there's a couple of different varieties of electronic distributors. There's Motorola, there's Delco, um, there's also Merck Cruiser has their own. So they have a mag pickup in here, and instead of using the star wheel like this, they use this on the rotor actually. So this actually it comes with the rotor instead of being integral into the distributor. So their input is just going to be an analog input into the module, which is remotely mounted. Uh, Delco version has the mag pickup built into the distributor, but it plugs directly into the ignition module. Very small, compact. So if we look at the components here, uh, the rotor shaft, which is has the actual star wheel on it that's in putting a uh, uh, break in the magnetic field, so the magnetic field is being interrupted by each wheel as it star as it goes by. Creates an analog pulse, which really is an RPM input into the module itself. Uh, that module has another connection on the outside here, which is used for EFI engines. We'll talk about that later. But what we're really looking at is these two connections. So the input from your magnetic pickup creates an AC waveform, basically just a, a waveform which is a counter and RPM input into this, so it knows how fast the engine's turning. Then in turn, what that does is this is going to control spark timing. So what you need to kind of understand is what are the other two wires for? So one of the wires is gonna to go to the negative side of the coil. Internally, the module is going to have a path to ground, to ground and unground the negative side of the coil to trigger the coil, just like a points ignition system. And because it is a module, it's an electronic module, it also needs power. So the other wire is going to be purple, and that will come from the key switch. So when you turn the key on, the module gets power. When you crank the engine over, you have an input from the mag pickup that senses each time one of the metal wheels goes by, the little star angle pieces goes by, it interrupts the magnetic field or distorts it. That sends a waveform, an AC waveform, into the module. The module then turns that into an RPM signal. And then what it does is it has a spark curve. So what it's going to do is it's going to sense the RPM of the engine on one side. And then what it's going to do is, is timing, advance. So as RPM increases, then our timing is going to increase as well. So if you look in your book, book 17, under the timing curves, you'll sense that as RPM of the distributor increases or engine RPM increases, so does ignition time. It's a direct correlation. Um, each module has a set curve built into it. So you have to make sure that you order the correct module by the engine serial number, the model and serial number. They are different. Different horsepower ranges have a different curve. So you have to make sure that you get the right one. Um, to test it, basically this is a coil of wire. So if you unplug the pickup from the module, you can read the resistance value of this coil inside here. You also, if you wanted to, you could take that, hook it up to a DC voltmeter, crank the engine over, and see if you get an AC output or a digital reference voltage output. So if you get no output voltage, then you know the coil's open. If you do get some kind of an output voltage, then likely this is getting a signal. So then it's either the module, or it's power, or it has a faulty ground. Now, when you go to replace one of these modules, it's very important that you follow the guidelines. When you hit the new module, it should come with this little packet. It's dielectric grease, basically what it does is it bonds this to the surface of the aluminum, it transfers heat, if you fail to put that between the module and the distributor, this will overheat and it will burn off. So that's one thing you can do, is this has to have that uh, grease on it before you bolt it down. Uh, the bolts are real small, fine threads, going into aluminum, make sure you follow the torque specs in the book, and that's uh, pretty much what you're gonna find out. It's pretty straightforward. One other failure that the module can do is have a flat line where it doesn't advance the timing. Again, 
use an advanced timing light. You can do this in neutral, start the engine up, put your advanced timing light on the timing marks, advance the throttle, look at the curve in the book, figure out what the timing should be at what RPM. Let's say at 3,000 RPM, it's supposed to be 24 degrees. If it's at eight degrees still, then the module is broken inside, so change the module. Hope this uh, helps you a little bit on how it works, and we'll go over a different thing, a different process next time. Thank you.